Hello again today. This is Mark Auerbach with Siltahar Motors and P.T. Ertl with screwing up my time because you didn't prepare correctly. I have topics. I have... Are we supposed to tell them that we have topics? I have product knowledge. That's also weird. That's really weird. And... That's about it. Why are you mad at me, P.T.? <laughs> we'll just dive right into that then, are we? Yep. Why are you mad at me? Because we had a very beautiful visitor today, and you didn't let me come out and say hi. You didn't tell me I was here. It's not that beautiful. The Maserati I like more. I uh, really actually do. True, but I get to see Maseratis all the time when I drive by them now or look out my office window. But the McLaren MP4-C, I only get to see every now and then. You only get to see that one every now and then? Well, I saw two today. You're a oh. jerk. <laughs> and you didn't call me to tell me, hey... There's I'm a McLaren M4 for MP4 dash. I was here. in between my meetings. So you couldn't call me? You couldn't text me? I didn't even go outside. My camera has excellent zoom. There's an app for that. You're a liar. I am. A little bit. We are in a 2012 Ford F350 DRW. What does DRW mean, PT? Too many wheels in back. No, that's not a good acronym. No? What's a, what is a D? Dual rear wheels, big dum dum. Oh, that's what I meant. Um, which is an option on the F three fifty. It's standard on F four fifty five fifty, but it's a long box. It's a Lariat King Ranch, so it's an upgraded trim pa package. Uh, what do you get with that? A whole lot of truck. What What do you get with the King Ranch package? This little emboss here on the uh, armrest. Mm -hmm. What else? A little emboss there on the seat back. Yep, right, right there. there. Um, you get a painted grill surround instead of the chrome style. Um, you have a pale adobe accent on the on the truck on the outside. Nice dark um, brown leather. Dark brown leather on the inside. Just like saddle the leather. Or... Badging on it and the polished wheels with the center cap. So that's kind of cool. It's uh it's that much of a step up, if you will. This is bouncing around kind of bad. Well, then drive more smoothly. Is it attached correctly? I think so. Just gonna bounce like that. It's just gonna bounce like that. Here, oh, hold okay. it still. Is no. that better? No. Or worse? It's just gonna bounce. Well, that's because we're driving a truck that's you know not got a nice supple transmission like the Raptor. Yeah, it's a one ton. It's a one ton, so you can carry a lot of stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Can you carry a ton in it? Mm hmm. More than a ton. More than a ton? That's then why call it a one ton? I don't know. I don't make up these rules. You not know. I thought you had product knowledge. You were. I have product. I just went through the whole King Ranch. I just went through the. I'm about to go through the exhaust brake, which is a standard option in this truck. What is exhaust brake? Okay, so say we're towing in the highest interstate in elevation in the U.S., which would be I-70 at the Eisenhower Pass. Nope. It's, yes, it is. Nope. Interstate, not road. Interstate. It's the highest elevation interstate in the uh, U.S. Of a paved road. Because it's at the Continental Divide. Well, no. It goes under the Continental Divide. It goes in it. It goes in through the. It doesn't go underwater. under it. If it under it, you'd be in hell. Oh my! It doesn't go under it. I mean, of course, it goes under the Continental Divide top line. So it goes under the line. Okay, well I skied on. What about the Loveland Pass? Divide. That's not an interstate. It's US six. It's US Highway six. Okay, what did I just say? Interstate. Exactly. You think US did I say Highway? highway? Si you think US Highway six goes through more than one state? Is it I six or you Highway think it goes six? Interstate. No, it's the class. You're a big. Anyway, when you're towing up there, which uh, which is funny, actually, a lot of semi-trucks do high-altitude testing up and down I-70. They like do even they more do up and down truck. Loveland Pass. No, they don't. Okay. Because you don't drive a lot. Why Loveland is that wiggling Pass. so much? I don't know. What did you do? I don't know. Is it going to ruin our drive? We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, we will. <laughs> this may not go to YouTube. Um, or it may go to YouTube, and we just aren't going to care that much. Why don't you put on supple... Uh, Can we stay on topic? Yep. Um, so, when you're towing a trailer down the mountain... Traction control off. What's that going to do? We're on a dry road. Um, we're on it. Oh, I do my heated seat. <laughs> um, when you're towing down I-70, um, it's important to have a trailer brake, obviously, under heavy weight. Camper, fifth wheel, things like that, which is standard in the truck as well. Um, it's optional on a little XLT standard on anything above that Valeria. Um So when you're towing with that, it's obviously important to have that. But Ford went a step beyond that 
and um, installed a standard trailer brake, um, which is in the tow haul mode, or an exhaust brake, which is in the tow haul mode. I know you don't care, you're ADD. Um, but what's really cool about it is you don't have to hit a switch, you don't have to worry about worrying about it, to be honest. It does all the work for you, takes the stress out of um, one, wearing down your brakes, and two, actually having a fa failure and losing control of the car. So, so it engine brakes. Um, all, all it does is it just kind of compresses the air back into the engine as you're going down the hill in a tow haul mode. And it knows under um, above 25% of brakes pressure, it'll uh, just kick, kick that on. You don't have to hit an extra switch. Because a lot of other guys are doing that um, in their trucks, but it's a separate switch or it's something else to worry about. And it kind of takes the worry away from you. Just towing a truck and not having to stress as you're going down a 14% grade or higher. Is like a, a thrust reverser on an airplane? Yes, but we're not flying. We're on the ground. But thrust reverse just takes your thrust and reverses it. Oh, fail. You rang. You rang. I turned mine on silent. Good for you. You also forgot to charge something today. Yeah, the camera. But this is a really cool truck. I really like it. It's tall. It's tall. Taller than you. By a lot, as you saw in the picture. That was a real and accurate picture. Maybe not quite that much. That may be a No, I'm really three feet tall. Angle degree. <laughs> That was kind of, and plus I was on my knees. He's sitting on a phone book no, right now, guys. Um, How is that a pun? A ten way adjustable seat. I can go as high as I want. How is that a pun? On my knees. That's not a pun. I mean, it's like maybe some double I don't know, entendre whatever. there or something, or a little innuendo, but definitely not. You know, for somebody that screwed up today already, you're pretty cocky. I'm the one that screwed Just up. Just saying, you should be a little bit more, you know, cruise control ish and try to stay under the radar because you ruined. My schedule. 30 seconds to text me and say, hey, there's an MP4 C out front. That's all you had to do. <laughs> 30 seconds. I hear an airplane. Don't hear an airplane. I heard an airplane. Why? That's not our exhaust note. Does this have a good uh, exhaust note? Exhaust note? Yeah. Does it sound pretty? Yeah, it sounds pretty. Cool. Sounds mean. Sounds mean. It should. It's a it's truck. It's an enormous though. truck. For a 6, 7, eight. Inside, yeah. It's nice. Inside. Well, obviously, I mean, you can hear in the audio that this is a diesel. You know, everybody... Gives diesel a hard time for being loud and clunky. Wow, that person almost turned into us. Yep. Go ahead. Which would have been bad because that person's accent is about the size of our front tire. Yep. It's like a roller skate. That she probably got scared a little bit. You think maybe? <laughs> that was maybe a little terrifying for her. On over. We could have put her in the trunk. Or yes. in the bed of the cars. The brakes do work. The brakes work very well. How big is the bed on this? Six foot? Eight foot bed. Eight foot? Eight foot. No. Box. Yes, sir. Eight no. That would fit me and you almost on my shoulders. It probably would laying down. We, we, we three feet tall. Fireworks. Yeah. You saw the picture. I did. I took the picture. Power extend mirrors. That's kind of cool. Oh, the mirrors get further out so that and then if they you're, also uh, fold in on a switch. Driving a trailer. Yep. Memory seats. All the comfort and Memory convenience you'd expect. Seat. Plus, you have a four up fitter switch, which is really cool. It's fun to use. That's for like overhead lights and Over, bed lights. Well, and... overhead the lights are in this one, um, <clears throat> but you can get like off-road lights, reverse lights, a wench even. Um, a wench? Mm -hmm. Like an old-timey cook who stays in the kitchen winch. and yells at you? No, like a Oh, a winch. Cable. No, it's whatever. You said, you said wench, though. Yarr! This is my wench. I don't like you. I also behave myself on the uh, left turn onto the on-ramp. Yes, you did. Well, that's because there were cars in front of you and it next It doesn't to you. matter in a truck like this. <laughs> you could give them a little bump and yeah. slid them right off the road is what you're saying? Because it's got that much right. torque and power? Yes. It has lots of torque and power. So there are no wenches with this truck? Not standard. You smart Alec. You can get a wench. I hate you. If you live in, you know... 14th century England. I don't like you. Sail on a ship. Maybe if you live like in Tortuga. You just offended 13 people. 13 people who are from mm -hmm. the 13, 14th century? Mm -hmm. I don't think 13 people are going to watch this video. <laughs> I'm going to see it shake and I'm going to get sick. <laughs> That's a challenge. Can 13 people watch this video from start to end without vomiting? Without it being me or PT just to bring the views up. What? I don't watch the whole thing once I post it. I watch it before I post it. I <laughs> Why are you turning off my heat seater? Your cool seater? Yeah. Okay. My butt was comfortably cool. Comfortably cool. Sounds like a Pink Floyd song. So where are you going tomorrow that we can't do a drive tomorrow? I am oh. participating in a charity golf tournament. Thanks for the invite. You're welcome. You're working, remember? I can't mess up your schedule. We had this conversation. Touche. Like earlier on the video where you were mad at me because I screwed up your, your schedule. Yep. And you didn't show That's me the like really too. cool car. 
What do you really like? You can shift completely even in drive. You can just oh. control it. So if you need to downshift, help the engine brake. You can engine brake, and you can exhaust brake, and you can trailer brake, and you can use your regular brakes. So what you're saying wow. is... This break, 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 break. Shouldn't catch fire because of overheating brakes like semis do. Also true. Yeah. I mean, you don't need an engine brake. Run- runaway brake. An exhaust yeah. brake. And you're towing, like, and tow brake a lot. That seems like a good idea. Maybe they should use these instead of semis. You wouldn't haul around as much. So you go faster and not have fire brake fires. <laughs> you be able to haul around as much. Well, that, that would put my girlfriend's dad out of a job. No, because he would start driving one of these with That's a trailer. Fair. With uh, stuff in the back. Oh, yeah? Then he wouldn't have his brake fires that he always has. I'm sure someone's already thought of that. You think so? Probably. They've done the math? Probably. You know how much those big trucks cost? A lot more than this one. Yep. What's the, what's the fuel mileage on it? Is it um, it's not rated it's not on required. it. Because once it hits a certain tier. Um, it's about the same, though, as an SVT Raptor with a 6.2 liter gas. You're probably teens, low teens on the highway. And this is the same thing that, that our super fancy truck is made out of our show truck six, show seven. truck which has three TVs which and a Ford PlayStation used to, Ford used to outsource all their engines <clears> and <throat> didn't really work for them now this truck is a 6.7 has best in class fuel economy and best in class towing which is really hard to get at the same time so this is like the truck that sits at the front of the class and raises his hand and says teacher teacher you forgot our homework oh, it's smart gets, enough like, it doesn't need it anymore. gets A's and all that, all that stuff yeah like m- most of our cars right now yeah Unlike some of, some of the competitors that sit in the back and hide their face so you can't see them. <laughs> that was you, huh? It's blunt. You would sit in back, wouldn't you? Yeah, I probably would. And be like, I don't want the teacher to pick me. <laughs> no, I sat in the front a lot. I was the kid that raised my hand and held up with my other hand so I could go a little bit higher so they would see me. You would not. Oh, wait. What are you doing? I know all of these buttons. This has Homelink too, so you can open up, you can program your garage door right into it. Everything have Homelink these days? Every almost car has an option for Homelink. Oh. Not everything comes with it. And a Lariat, oh. yes, you would get it. Oh, it has the standard 110 plug, huh? Oh, yeah. Or 150 watt. Well, I like that. I think I that's like cool. That. I mean, especially. Great for I, long trips. I have kids, so it's really nice to be able to like let them plug in their DVD player. Mm hmm. What else you got there? This thing? That's a coin holder and also like a cell phone and maps. And this and thing? Yep, it comes completely apart. You can fit a small kid in there. Like, all three of my dogs can go in there. This thing? You just broke that. I don't think so. It says removable on it. So I was going... Did you remove it the right removable? way? Removable? So I was removable. going with that. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. It's right back in there. Okay. You also have a charge port right there. Right there. USB right here? USB right there. Line in right there? Yep. Charge port right there. Charge port right there. Locking. Oh, you got a uh, four high, four low. Look, you can put in two high. tissue and pens and cards and pens. It's a little weird that the single pen pen holder says pens plural on it. You can probably stack a couple. But it says but it's maybe like it's hollowed maybe, out for one pen. Maybe it fits a diverse selection of pens. Oh, that makes sense. So instead of ballpoint pens or fountain pens or felt. Or felt tip pens. Or markers. Which Marker would be felt pens. tip. Permanent markers. Still felt Smelly tip. markers. Still felt tip. What other kind of pens are there? Like gel ink? Those are... Jelly? Ballpoint? Those are gel pens. Gel pens? Yeah. What about penguins? <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> You're really dumb. <laughs> I don't like you. Sharp pen. O pen. Have you ever drove... A big truck. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I've driven many times. In fact, I, I drove this morning. Gugush, 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 gugush. Why didn't they fix the other track? <clears throat> you mean when they smoothed out half of the tra- the train tracks, they didn't smooth out the other half? Yeah. They tore it apart. They did. They, they ripped it all it. up and they made it all prettier, and then it's still you have to go over it slower. Why not just? I don't know. And then they fixed the ties and didn't fix all the ties. They just fixed the ones that were super, super bad. Yeah. And they're going to go sell the other ones. I would like it if they would put some sort of railroad crossing here. Like, well, not railroad, like a person crossing. A person crossing? Yeah. Have you ever seen a pedestrian crossing for a railroad? Yeah. I haven't. Yeah, just put concrete down so you can walk across train tracks. In fact, all of Denver is that. That's light rail, though. It's still a railroad track. That's light rail. I don't care how heavy the rail is. It's still a railroad track. <laughs> <laughs> Big dumb duck. <laughs> I'm just saying, it'd be nice. 
We got a new Maserati this morning. Yep. With the MP4 CS that I didn't get to see. Whatever, they're not that cool. I'm kind of getting numb to that kind of stuff. There is that you do sort of start to get used to supercars. Mm -hmm. You see one eventually, which is really sad because all my friends every time I throw one up on my website and stuff and they see them and they're all happy and then they, they get mad at me because now the construction workers are parked in my spot oh my goodness is that what those are oh they're doing big construction here starting tomorrow no i think that's our no nope. care no literally they're big construction that is long guys but they're starting this interchange tomorrow are they they're completely changing Remind the interchange here at 36 in. and uh calling sick for the next three years yeah it's not gonna be a quick process we got a backup camera. Ah, this is surprisingly easy. Yeah, even with a dually. especially given the size of it. Is this thing big? 172 inch wheelbase. Beep, 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 beep. You don't need anything out of the back, do you? No. Good. I love these trucks. They make you feel big? Yeah. I should just sit up like this in them. That's why I like little cars, because they make me feel small. Na, 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 na. Look at me, I'm skinny, I'm driving a little car. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's better. You seeing the Elmo's World song? Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? I feel tall. I feel like my dad. Oh boy! You want to go like pick up a big trailer and just haul it around just so we need to test it? No. I wonder if we have one somewhere. We have a car hauler, but we need to install a hitch. That would be a problem. I was like, there's a buckle up here, PT. It's on the seat. What's the uh, leather style? Saddle style. I just answered it. We already kept this out. This isn't going online. Okay.